going on everybody i'm back with another youtube video now in today's video guys to top it all off for my worst best rankings i decided to do the jason ranking after the counselor ranking the whole reason for this was uh because uh i think it's actually harder to rank the jasons because it just comes down so compact and it's so hard it's so hard to sacrifice a jason that you really love playing but to be honest he's not actually that good um, so I think that's what really makes this ranking a lot harder. So, um, hopefully my counselor upload will be uploaded before the making of this video because, uh, I already showed, uh, some updates in my last video. Uh, so if you want to learn about that, go to my newest counselor ranking and you'll see some of the new collection updates and things like that in the beginning of the video. Um, and I want to get onto this Jason ranking real quick. Hopefully it will be pretty short, uh, I mean, hopefully it'll be a maximum of 20 minutes. It's definitely probably going to go over that. But we'll just have to see it uh, at the end of this video. And I'm trying, I'm going to try to get into much as much detail and as much reason as possible of, as why I ranked them where they are. In my counselor ranking, I kind of got into some logical reasons why, some default game reasons. But in the Jason one, it was really a lot of opinion. And it just, it's kind of like controversial for everybody of who thinks this advantage is better than this disadvantage and things like that. I also decided to make these two new rankings. I know some of you might be getting annoyed. Some of you may be happy, uh, be happy about this is because I am a lot more of an experienced player now being level 150, the maximum level. And I figured, you know, why not make a re-ranking? Uh, these are easy rankings to pull off and I know some of you really like them. So I might be saving the how to play chess video uh, for the future, but as of right now, this is going to be, uh, my video, and, uh, I might do a, a live stream here, uh, within Thanksgiving weekend, uh, probably, definitely, uh, probably not Thanksgiving, I'll probably give you guys a break, um, but, yeah, that, that will be that for this weekend, so, let's get on to the ranking here, uh, and hopefully you guys will enjoy, guys, so we are back with the ranking, and as you can see at number eight, uh, it's part three, so in this ranking, I won't be putting Savini Jason in, and if I had the ranking, uh, if I had to put Savini and Jason in, I would probably put him first based on his strengths and weaknesses, uh, but we're not going to get too much into that. I think you can all understand why I'm not going to put Savini and Jason in. It's It wouldn't be fair uh, to most people, and man, let, let's get on the ranking now, but part three, this one and the next one was, it was a sacrifice. I mean, but... If I put it all into perspective, part three really is a pretty bad Jason. And don't get me wrong, I love part three. You can dominate him pretty dang good if you're an experienced player. But I think the reason they put in part three was he's a pretty average Jason. I mean, he's got some pretty bad weaknesses and some pretty decent strengths. So he's kind of an average Jason. And then... I'll get on to why part five is uh, the better option for the beginning of the game. And I think I realized why they did, you know, what they did. Uh, you know, they kind of wanted an average Jason and a little bit of a better Jason, you know. Uh, just to see how they like that play style. Um, and to be honest, I don't think part three is the better option. I think part five is the better option out of the two for the beginning of the game. And this was a sacrifice one because part three is as bad as you really think is. Um, let me go over his strengths. So his first strength is can run. I'm going to go over this very, very many times, but can run and can't run are not really important strengths or weaknesses, to be honest. Uh, you can dominate any Jason, whether or not he can run or he can't run. Uh, all, I think all this really benefits is if a counselor is doing a ring around the rosy around a small object, then you can catch up to them faster and they won't be able to do that kind of thing. But if you're playing as a Jason who can't run, this is, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, harder to do that. Uh, or if a counselor, let's say, is out of stamina or, the you know, they're uh, holding onto their shoulder because they're very injured, uh, it's going to be annoying when you can't run and you just want to kill them off really fast. 
But other than that, can run and can't run are not really that important, and I don't see them as strengths or weaknesses. I honestly think the game just added this in for something to throw in there, uh, to be honest. But yeah, that is something that really doesn't put in a game changer. So that one is kind of just throughout. And then he has good weapon strength. This is good if you're Jason who's a slasher, or if you're Jason who likes to give the counselors about two whips with uh, your weapon so that they can be... Uh, uh, pretty darn injured, you know, they can't run anymore, and then you can grab them, and that tops it all off with grip strength, because then inevitably, I'm pretty sure, unless they have a pocket knife, they're not going to get out of that grab. Grip strength, though, is, I, I, it's it's a good combination with rapid strength, don't get me wrong, but it's only an advantage unless you want to do environmental kills, otherwise, you're probably going to have the instant kill right on the spot. So, on his weaknesses, he has uh, minus stun resistance, minus sense, and minus stock. Minus stun resistance is definitely pretty bad, especially if people are teaming up on you. So this is one of those Jasons that's really easy to team up onto. If you have like really annoying counselors who are stunning you, or let's say they're starting the car, this is going to be annoying because not only are you going to have more of a chance of being stunned, but it's going to take longer for you to get out of that stun. Uh, so if someone has like sucker punch, even though, you know, it's not going to be as long as a time, well, it pretty much will be because of the stun resistance, um, they're going to have an even more, uh, stun chance. So part three gets stunned almost every time, uh, and he's one of those Jasons that's actually pretty easy to, uh, knock off his mask. Minus sense, I don't really care about that, but it is kind of a problem if, uh, you're trying to keep your sense on a counselor, waiting for your shift to come up, and then you can use it. That's the only time I really see that as a disadvantage. And minus stock is something, uh, some players don't use stock at all, and some players just dominate stock and make it so great. So it's annoying having a minus stock, and you're trying to stock on a player for quite a while, and you're not going to have as much time to use that. Uh, and that's why I think the weaknesses really just top it off very greatly because minus stun resistance, minus sense, and minus stock is just like triple uh, bad, to be honest. And then you look at his strengths and they're really not that good either. It It's like controversial strengths. Yes, the grip strength and weapon strength kind of go good together, but they're really not that good. Now, some could argue that you could make this Jason a lot better if you, you know did a weapon swap on him with a machete. Yeah, he could become a lot more decent with breaking down them doors, but still, he's not a very good Jason. And this one was definitely a sacrifice play for me in the ranking. So let's get on to number seven. Number seven shouldn't come to a surprise, but it's part two. And in a lot of my rankings, I kind of put part two in this part of the list. And I don't think part two will ever make it to the bottom of the list for two main reasons. And I'll go over that when I go over strengths. So strengths, like I said, can run is one of his strengths. And that's not really a big game changer. I already went over that. Uh, plus traps and plus morph is like the best combination in the game ever. Uh, you... That two extra traps is honestly a game changer. You could, if you have people who are trying to kill Jason, this definitely benefits part two a lot more because part two is definitely a Jason that k gets killed a lot uh, uh, because it's just so easy to knock off his mask. I think this is another one that's really easy to knock off his mask uh, as well as part three, part nine. And, yeah, all the other Jasons are kind of hard to knock off their masks. But those are the three main ones that are pretty easy to kill and knock off their masks. But plus traps and plus morph is a is kind of a game changer almost. Uh, those two extra traps, I mean, think about what you could use with them. Um, you know, put one at the phone box. Someone takes it out. Yeah, you get to put, it like, uh, two extra if they're going really after that. Um, you could put one by your shack if they're trying to go for a kill. Uh, you could put one by the Tommy uh, electrical box. Like if someone's trying to call Tommy, you don't want that to happen. You can put a trap by the electrical box. You can put uh, traps by both of the cars. It's just really, really nice. Uh, but then when you get on to his weaknesses, and this is where it gets bad. Minus shift, minus defense, and minus water speed. <clears throat> the thing about part two shift is that it is so slow and it lasts not very long. Um, so the only benefit with his slow shift is that 
if you're trying to trick a counselor into thinking that you're going to rush on to them with your shift, you can just use your shift out really quickly and they'll run right into you and bam, you got them. Because I've seen a lot of part two Jasons dominate that, uh, which is pretty good. And minus defense. A lot of people don't understand what how minus defense works. But I think I pretty much got the idea of how it works. Minus defense basically means that when you block, um, it will, it will do more, the counselors will, uh, it will, uh, how do you want to say this? Your block compared to another Jason's block, uh, like let's say a Jason that doesn't have minus defense, uh, like part three for instance, his block, when he blocks, uh, he'll, uh, save more of his HP than, uh, part twos. So that's why even though part two blocks, it's still pretty easy to knock off his mask. And also, uh, with that plus block chance, that mean, or uh, that minus block chance with the minus defense basically means that let's say he's trying to block, uh, firecrackers because it's inevitable that he's going to block a counselor who's trying to hit him. Um, I'm not sure if that is true, but sometimes I'm pretty sure that I actually blocked a counselor's hit. But for some reason, it knocked me out. But I'd have to look more into that. But what this also could do is if you have minus defense, you're less likely to be able to block firecrackers, which you're not always able to block. Some Jasons are able to uh, have a better block chance in blocking than firecrackers, but some don't. So I don't think part two anytime soon will be blocking uh, uh, firecrackers. So I'm pretty sure that's how defense works uh, in a way. So... Yeah, it's pretty confusing, but we'll just roll on with that one. That one's kind of really a very, very non-situational one, so I don't think it really matters. And then minus water speed. The thing about part two is he can be great with big maps, but he can't be great with big maps. Like, if he's on a small map, yeah, he's pretty good. I mean, he's got the, that many traps, he's got many morphs. And he can also be pretty good on big maps, too, with that plus morph and plus traps. But he can also be pretty bad. If a counselor repairs the boat, this is where part two Jason just can't really do anything, despite the fact that he has seven traps. Uh, that water speed is, like, uh, some could argue that, yes, you can morph by the boat, uh, uh, use stock, shift up to him, because part two has a decent stock. <clears throat> but, um, worse comes to worse, you're not going to get it, um... And yeah, that's why I think part two goes right here. And this one was just such a sacrifice for, for those reasons. This was, this one was such a hard one to decide between part two and part three. But I think part two goes good with both maps in different ways. Um, and that's what really brought him down in the list a little bit. Uh, despite the fact that he can do pretty good with the map, the other side, it's like, yeah, he can't do very good. So, Part two has to go right here, and uh, that minus shift as well just kind of changes up the game too. So, let's get on to number six. Number six is part seven, and I looked at part seven stats, and I'm like, you know, part seven isn't actually as good of a Jason as I really, really think he is. And I used to rank him higher in my list, but I, I mean, if we were doing a look contest, yes, part seven would win. I mean, he looks pretty, pretty uh, nice. Uh, for especially for the game. But if we get into actually how good he is, I don't think Part 7 is actually a very, very good Jason. He used to be terrible, but they buffed him, and he was a lot better. Uh, because that minus shift and the weaknesses, I mean, that tripled him off very, very greatly. Uh, he did not stand a chance post-rage, um, or post-rage update, uh, with that weakness, so I'm happy they buffed him, otherwise he would just be terrible. But the thing about Part 7 is he's not actually as good as I really thought he was uh, when I wasn't really as experienced. Um, he has a great weapon. The thing I like about Part 7 is that being one of them beginner Jasons, the machete just absolutely shreds. You don't need to change that machete. Uh, so he can become a very dominant Jason even before level 113, because you obviously can't do that weapon swap, uh, but if you want a weapon swap, yeah, it, you know, it changes things, but I think he's great with that machete either way, um, and kind of with part two, too, like, what, like, he's 
pretty bad. Until you get that weapon spot, he can be uh, a lot more decent. Well, part seven. Let's look at his strengths. He has plus sense, plus water speed, plus weapon strength. Plus sense, um, <clears throat> that's pretty good, especially, uh, and I think that would be good with, like, plus stock or something like that, but it's really you know, not very situational one. Uh, I, I think I already pretty much went over that one with uh, uh, the stock situation. Plus water speed is good if you're playing on big maps uh, like Pinehurst or any uh, boat maps where a boat always spawns, then plus water speed is pretty good to have. And then plus weapon strength is good to have if you're a slasher or if you're just a Jason who likes to get them uh, pretty darn injured, uh, low on HP, and then you can grab them, uh, that would be pretty good. I think that w what would make uh, this Jason a lot better if, he's, if he had plus grip strength, I think that would be a lot better. Uh, that would be a good combination with that weapon strength, but really i think the weaknesses are what really brings him down so you can't run that one's just kind of thrown out the window minus traps now i actually watched another uh f friday the 13th player with his ranking and i thought about it and i'm like minus traps is only a big situation a big problem depending on how good the players are if there are players who are teaming up and they're going for that phone box hard, like just, I mean, absolutely just going after that phone box pretty darn good, Minus Traps is going to be a, good, a big problem. And I've had a lot of uh, time, uh, well, I have had a few times, not a lot, a few times where I've had some pretty darn good teams go after that phone box like crazy. Uh, and luckily I didn't go, I didn't go with like part seven or anything like that uh, because of that. But Minus Traps isn't that bad and I'll talk about that later, and uh, I think, you know, the big part that kind of changed my mind with this is, you know, I really thought into this guy's ranking, and it's actually Godzilla Burns, by the way, uh, he's another Friday the 13th player, and I was like, you know, I actually agree with this guy, and I think he has good reason for this, and then minus stun resistance, that kind of just tops it off with that traps, especially if you're being with team or uppers, then stun resistance is going to be a big problem. If someone's going after the phone box, you already have someone on your, uh, you know, behind your back, you know, going for you. Uh, you're not going to be able to morph, get to that phone box, and they're going to be calling the police by now. It's also bad if, you know, people are teaming up on you, they're trying to get in the car, things like that. Part seven's not going to do very good against that. The thing that really, I, uh, part seven's definitely an average, Jason. He's kind of like part three in a way, but I think. He's just a little bit better with that average around. Um, I think he's just slightly better than part three and part two. Because his strengths and his weaknesses are both not very, very good. They're pretty average. They're pretty okay. Uh, so that's why I think part seven goes at number six. Let's get on to... Uh, ooh, got the camera tilted there. Let's get on to number five. All right, number five for me is part six. And this... Might come to a surprise for you, but I th 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 this is another one that's kind of like a sacrifice play for me. Let's just go over his strengths real quick. So he has plus throwing knives, plus sense, plus shift, uh, and for weaknesses, minus defense, minus can't run, and minus more. So plus throwing knives is really good, especially if you don't want to waste too much time going for throwing knives. Uh, plus, throwing knives can be pretty dominant uh, if you just kind of want to have that six. You don't want to go for any more. You don't want to waste any time, especially with that minus morph, which we'll go over later. Uh, so that's a pretty good advantage, but not a game changer. Plus, sense is only good in certain situations, and I think it would go pretty good with stock. I already went over that one. And plus, shift. Part six shift regen is absolutely amazing. Uh, and despite the fact that he has minus morph, I think especially if a counselor is in a car, that plus shift is just absolutely amazing uh, for those situations, despite the fact that he has minus morph. Um, and I think plus shift kind of almost redeems that minus morph in a way, but we'll go over it. Minus defense, I went over that one. That's a situational one. Can't run another situational one, a uh, controversial one you know, however you want to put it, it's not something that's going to change the game completely. But the only really bad weakness about him is Minus Morph. Uh, the thing I actually kind of do like about Minus Morph is 
the fact that if you're going for, and thank God he doesn't have minus traps either, if you're going for the foam box and you want to destroy that house up just before you get that plus morph, because it's almost satisfying to be able to take out an entire uh, house that has the phone so that you're ready to attack it if someone's going after that. Um, it's satisfying to not have the morph up again before you break down that entire house. And that's what I kind of like about part six is it kind of gives you, it almost gives you more time to do that stuff, which I like. And the thing is, part six shreds with the machete. I mean, he is just absolutely insane with the machete. So if you're playing 113 and up, level 113 up, part six can be, be I mean, he's just a great Jason overall, and I think that's what kind of makes him a little bit better. Even though 113 is a high level, we're getting to the point of the game where it's been out for quite a while. We have a lot of 150 players, and, uh, you know, part six playing with the machete is actually really, really good. I think that plus shift kind of redeems that minus morph, but in certain situations when you're playing on big maps, you know, you're not always going to be able to shift right up onto it. Uh, and that could be pretty bad, but I think he's just a little bit better than part seven and no more talk about that. But if he's playing with the spear, obviously it's going to be really, really annoying trying to break down that door pretty fast. Uh, but, uh, like I said, that plus shift, it, it is pretty good. Sense and throwing knives are pretty good as well, but I think the shift is like the best strength and then weaknesses aren't too bad either. Uh, so he's just slightly better because of one stat than part seven because he's an average Jason. Uh, so I think that's why part six goes right here. Number four, man, th this is where th it got really, really hard in the list. And it's part four. In my other rankings, I rank part four at number one. But now that I really see it, is part four actually that good? And, um, you know, to be honest, I probably would have ranked him lower than part six, but, um, I think the thing that made him step up quite a bit, and I think he would be a terrible, uh, Jason without minus or uh, plus destruction, uh, he, he would be pretty bad without that, uh, but yeah, man, this was, this is hard. This is really hard. Let's look at his strengths. So he has plus can run. We already went over that. That one's not very uh, good. I mean, it's, yeah, that one can be thrown out the window. And plus strength, or plus weapon strength, which is another controversial one. So it's okay. I mean, it's an okay strength. Plus destruction is obviously probably one of the best strengths to have. Uh, in between shift and destruction are probably the best two. So that's what brought part four up significantly. Uh, and then you go to his weaknesses, minus water speed and minus shift. Why do they have to go together? He is a bad Jason for big maps. Um, like minus water speed, minus shift, minus traps tops it off for him not being great at all uh, with big maps. So he can be pretty good with uh, uh, smaller maps. And I think the thing that just, I, I almost just had to put him up higher on the list was the plus destruction, to be honest with you. Um, but minus traps, minus shift, minus water speed, uh, water speed just, just screams he's not good for big maps uh, and things like that. So, But like I said, minus traps is one that's not so bad. Uh, minus shift is one that you can kind of dominate in a way if you're really, really good. And then that, yeah. So they're not... I don't want to say they're terrible weaknesses in a way, but they just triple each other to become a big weakness. Uh, but I think that that destruction, it just it just kind of uh, redeems it almost in a way. And it's not actually that hard to, uh, it's, uh, it's not that easy to knock off uh, Part 4's mask. Uh, I guess that's why another reason he could be ranked up higher on this list too. But man, do I just love to play with Part 4. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, no more said with part four. He's, he's, uh, pretty darn good in small maps, but when it comes to big maps, he's not that good. So it's a, situ a situational one, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but, you know, even though it's a big map, I think, uh, if your Jason really, really knows what you're doing, uh, they're not going to be able to get away with, uh, some of the stuff that he's not really going to be able to stop very quickly. Uh, 
So I guess to redeem that minus water speed, like I said earlier, you can morph up to it, use stock, and easily take out the boat from there. Uh, that minus shift, uh, you just really have to get used to that one, and that's why I understand why part four is, you know, one of the last Jasons to unlock because of that. Um, and then that minus, and those minus traps, um, yeah, I think, uh, part two might have, I think should have probably been another one that was, uh, should have been released, uh, later on in the levels, uh, but whatever the game was thinking, I guess, uh, but yeah, they're not that bad of weaknesses, and the thing, I, I think destruction kind of tops it off, uh, and, that, and those weaknesses are pretty average as well. So I think between part seven, part six, and part four, th those are very average Jasons. We're not getting to high tier yet. They're very average Jasons, and I think part four just had the best of the be uh, that one best strength, like with uh, part six, for example. He had that plus shift, uh, that plus destruction. I think in just certain situations, it's a little bit better. And then, you know, part seven having that, uh, uh, I'd say the best one would probably be plus water speed or plus sense. Um, I think those two weren't very, very great. And I think just part four was probably the best. And it redeemed what he had wrong. But part six, on the other hand, didn't quite get it fully redeemed. It's just my personal opinion that, uh, that plus shift almost just got rid of uh, thinking about that minus morph. So, man, was this a sacrifice play for part four. Probably one of my hardest decisions to make uh, in this ranking. But let's get on to number three, taking home the bronze medal. And in third place is part five. Man, let me tell you something about part five. Like I was saying earlier on in the ranking, Part 5 is definitely a better option to use in the beginning of the game. And I don't know what it is about Part 5. He's just so great in certain ways. Uh, you know, the thing about Part 3, like I was saying, is that those three weaknesses just were a triple uh, no-no for me. And <clears throat> with Part 5, if you're playing level 150 as Part 5, which I do, well... I, like, what I do in, when I'm in the servers is once I get done playing as one Jason, I switch on to the next one in chronological order. <clears throat> the thing about Part 5 uh, is, I don't know, it's just something about him that he's just so dominant, especially if you're playing as, like, level 150 with Part 5 Jason. He's so intimidating. He can shred through the doors despite the fact that he has minus, uh, you know, min uh, he doesn't have, you know, that destruction. Uh but, I mean, he doesn't really need a weapon spot, to be honest. That sh those shears are pretty fast. And let's go over strength. So, plus, throwing knives is good if you're not, if you don't want to waste time going over more throwing knives. Plus, stock. Man, do I love stock. It's just such a fun tool to play with good players uh, who don't really pay attention to that stock. Some players know about stock, and you have to be even more tricky with them. Uh, but plus stock can be a game changer if you're playing with somebody who's really good at the game and nobody's really ever used stock on them before, so they don't know how to get out of that situation and they probably don't even know what stock does. Uh, but if you're really experienced, then yeah, you're going to get it. You're probably going to stay in that house. You're not going to go out. You're not going to fall for them tricks. Uh, but if you're really, really tricky with stock, there's nothing a counselor can really do to get out of that situation if you wait long enough. Um, so stock can be very beneficial in a lot of ways. And that's what I love about it. And then uh, can run. Which is you know another one that can be thrown out the window. Minus defense. That's a one that's very very unsitua or very situational. Uh, and it only happens very rarely. When that can be uh, pretty bad. Minus grip strength is only good, uh, is only bad if you're trying to do environmental kills, and stun resistance is a weakness that is only bad if people are teaming up on you, uh, if someone's trying to escape, um, someone trying to repair that foam box, and, you know, you're getting hit a million times, you can't morph to it, uh, but it's something about part five that's just so good about him, that plus stock, then plus throwing knives, <clears throat> are just so good if you're playing against uh, better players. It's beneficial to have them extra two throwing knives. And his weaknesses really aren't all that bad if you put it into perspective. 
And I feel like part five is just overall a better Jason than part four. So let's get on to number two. Number two is part eight, and wow. I mean, we're, we're really getting into the high tiers now um, uh, with part eight and our number one spot, which some of you may have already guessed. The thing I love about part eight is he has three really, really great strengths, and his weaknesses aren't bad at all. So he has plus water speed, which is good, especially if you're playing in bigger naps, plus destruction, which is just amazing. Uh, you, we don't even have to go over how good destruction is. And plus stock, which is great if you're trying to, you know, beat them players that are really, really good. So overall, he's a great Jason to take down them good players and to, uh, be dominant in them bigger maps. And of course, he can be good in small maps too. Uh, but the thing I have to say about water speed as well, and it goes for the other Jasons, water speed is not all that beneficial. You'll rarely ever see a counselor in the water. And if they are in the water, you don't really need plus water speed, min or, or you could even have minus water speed, and you'll still be able to catch up them and drown them. So then we look at his weaknesses, and he has minus sense, which really isn't that bad, like I said. Uh, I've already went over minus sense. It's a very uh, situational one. Can't run, which is another one that's just really, really not even that bad. Uh, I don't know why they added it in there. And minus group strength. Like I said, which is only really a disadvantage if you're trying to go for them environmental kills. But even though you have plus grip strength and you're trying to go for an environmental kill, with with the updates right now, currently, uh, environmental kills are just not always great to go for because they glitch out a lot. Uh, so grip strength can be thrown out the window. Can't run can be thrown out the window. Sense is really the only one that kind of does something. That's what I love about Part 8. His strengths are just absolutely shredding. And then you go to his weaknesses, and they they, they don't even do anything to these strengths. And that's what makes Part 8 absolutely great. But I think number one deserves its spot. And number one is Part 9. And, you know, like I was saying, I watched... I watched another, uh, you know, person's ranking. And I'm like, <clears throat> you know what? Maybe they are right. And I think the thing that changes uh, your perspective on a Jason is that weapon swapping. And it isn't really uh, you, it isn't really a game changer to swap weapons with Part 9, especially him just having that a average destruction. Uh, you put a machete on him, and yeah, he's pretty good. Same with Part 8. I mean, Part 8 is just absolutely destructive with, uh, you know with a machete. Any Jason in this game is good with machete. I think they're all beneficial, and I think that's the one weapon swap that really just changes everything <clears throat> um, and makes them a little bit better, and I think that's what actually puts them a little bit higher on the list for some of them situations. But here's why Part 9 is where he is. <clears throat> uh, first of all, strengths plus shift. The thing about Part 9 shift is not only does it have a pretty good shift regen, that shift can go so far. And the fact that he also has average morph just d destroys part six. Uh, even reason to have plus shift because he has average morph, right? So, you, I mean, despite the fact that this is plus shift, I mean, if they get pretty far, you can still catch up to him. It's fast. It's far. It's it regenerates fast, and if it doesn't, if it comes down to where it hasn't been regenerated, morph up there, I guarantee you're going to get it. Uh, and I think what a, a, not a lot of Jasons realize is that when a car goes in reverse, they always say, oh, there's no way to stop that car. No. All you have to do is simply go behind that car, and the game will automatically shut off the car. I think it's some kind of uh, glitch in the game that just caused it to happen. Uh, like, you can't run over Jason and kill him. Uh, and if they bait you by going back and then you, uh, morph there and they go back up, then you can easily shift up into the front of their car. They're done, even if they're drifting. So plus shift is great in a lot of situations. Uh, and I think everybody can get that. Plus stun resistance is, he's the only one who has plus stun resistance, which is great, especially if people are teaming up on you. And that plus shift goes absolutely great with plus stun resistance. Um, and, like, 
you know, if people are stunning you, I mean, he's he has a pretty good chance that you're not going to be able to stun him. And if you do stun him, he's going to get out of that stun fast. He's going to be ready to go with that plus shift guarantee. And plus stock tops it off. If you have a really good player, despite the fact that you don't have that plus destruction, and that plus shift just goes great with everything else, plus stun resistance, plus stock. Um, like, let's say you're stocking and you're waiting for that counselor to go out that window, shift on him, easy, done. Um, and uh, it just goes so well with that shift. Now we go on to weaknesses. Can't run. Like I said, that one can be thrown out the window. He's the only one who has minus hit, less hit points, which basically means that it takes uh, less damage, basically. So it's going to be easy to knock off his mask. Overall, he's the easiest, if you really think about it logically, he's the easiest Jason to kill in that fact. Uh, but I don't think this really changes anything, and there's not a lot of people who go in for the Jason kill. And if they do, there's an easy way to... Uh, pretty much stop them from killing you. Either you can be a uh, wimp and you can go in the water, or when they try stunning you, you can get up in uh, the girl who's wearing the Pamela's sweater's face, and uh, Tommy will stun you, but he can't use the X button, and that will pretty much be dissed. And, uh, yeah. There's, like, easy ways to screw up them trying to kill you. And then Minus Traps is, like... Only bad if you're going after, if you're playing with players who are really want to get that car started or they want to get that phone box repaired. Uh, you can basically, all you really have to do, uh, morph around, shift around if you want to be honest, which would be pretty beneficial as well. But morph around, get them throwing knives, uh, put a trap by the phone box, uh, wait to see if they're going after that car. If they're going after that car, pretty good, and they haven't put on th that, uh, battery yet put a trap there and then you still got one extra trap to go just in case so minus traps is not all that bad if you put it in perspective but then when you get over 113 and you can throw off that battle axe with the battle axe it isn't actually not it, it's actually not that bad you put on machete he's i mean guaranteed the just the best jason i think uh that's why part nine goes right here and he also looks pretty good uh i think he looks better in the game as same with part seven than he does in the movie and i appreciate the fact that they actually did put part nine uh in here uh for the game i think it uh i think that's actually pretty good so yeah that was the ranking for the jasons man i had to make a lot of sacrifices and uh, I wanted to change things, but then I'm like, you know what? I think they all go well right where they are. And hopefully I will never, ever change this ranking again. Cause I think it's really, really good where it is. And I think I've pretty much become the maximum experienced as I possibly can in this game. Um, and if further updates come because there's the, this lawsuit is expected to be off of Friday the 13th hands within June of 2020, uh, you can watch slash and cast channel they make a lot of lawsuit updates on that they're big horror fans <clears throat> and you can look at that but yeah if something if like a big update happens and that changes everything yeah obviously i'm gonna make a new counselor ranking or i'm gonna make a new jason ranking depending on how it goes and it will probably be a new jason and counselor ranking more than likely so yeah that is all the jasons ranked hopefully you guys enjoyed I know some of you are going to get mad at me for the rankings, but guys, this is all just opinion. Give me your best, Jason, uh, at number one, whatever you really think, and uh, this is just my opinion. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, guys, and as always, I will see you next time.